What's up, me Jimmy Jam? Um, we're on Turtleback Mountain right now. About 4.4 miles, maybe a little bit past that. Nice little view. Just got up here. So, yep. So, hiking again today. Um, really nothing on the mission past uh, what you see. I'm going to, when I go back down, there's a Bold Face Mountain or Bold Face Cliffside. I'm not quite sure the name, but I'm going to hike over there, take a look at it, because it'll kind of swing me right back down to where I parked. So, hopefully I can get a good view from that angle. But, yeah, how's your day going? Mine's going pretty good. Um, my brother was kind of pissing me off this morning, but long story short, he's a zombie. And one thing I learned in life is you can't fix stupid. You know, once you, you just can't fix it. He's, he's just stupid. Um, he's selfish. Um, but that's the fluoride. That's the alcohol. Um, that's the news media. That's teachers. That's, that's the government doling you down. Um, a lot of people are pretty much zombies out there. Uh, they say like uh, out of how many people are awake in the world, it's it's pretty like 1% of people is awake. But if I know 3% of the population wakes up and realize what's going on, if we can actually fix this world, um, help it. You can see up there, you know, all across the sky there, all chemtrails today out spraying. Uh, it rained yesterday, so usually the day it rains, the day after they come out and respray the sky again. That's why if you look in the distance there, you see that kind of light, light, like, uh, how can I put it, like smog in the air. That's all the chemicals coming down and over gulping everybody. You know, you're breathing this shit in. Um, you know, it's kind of like smoking cigarettes. You you don't really know the effects at first, but in a long period of time, um, it has its effects. Uh, especially it dulls you down. Um, hard subject to get into, but I wish people would wake up and just look up. Open your eyes. That shit coming out the back of those airplanes isn't, uh, how can they put, what do they call that, contrails. It's not water vapor. Water vapor doesn't engulf the sky with this white, white chemicals all across the sky. You can see it over there, the lines and shit. They do grid patterns. I ask myself, how come I can see this? How come I know this is going on? And this is a really sensitive subject for me. Um, you know, for the past couple of years, I've been studying it. I've been knowing when they come out. You know, I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty much drones, you know, doing this. Because I always ask myself, why would someone do this? Why would a pilot be okay with this? But, you know, there's a lot of dumb people out there. A lot of idiots. The army, you gotta, you gotta be pretty dumb to be in the army these days. Because all the wars we fight, all the people that they kill, like terrorists and shit. There's no such thing. It was an engineered design to uh, take away your freedom, pretty much. Like the Patriot Act. Um, you know, when 9-11 happened, um, they first passed this bill called the uh, uh, Patriot Act, I think it was, or Freedom Act. One of the two names. And what it does, it takes your Fifth Amendment and pretty much it demolishes it. Your Fifth Amendment does not, you know, is no longer there. You know, they can take all your information. They can pretty much take anything that you own, like any hidden things about you, they can spy on you. And bottom line, they can lock you up without no due process. Uh, it's hard for me to pronounce words, sorry. I believe that was from the vaccines when I was younger. Uh, you know, vaccines really fuck up these kids. and I, I believe they fucked me up somewhat too. But God gave me a gift to see. Um, he gave me a gift to understand what's right and wrong. 
And I, I always ask myself, and I always ask God, how come I can see this and I know what's going on out there? You know, I can't read a book. I can read everyday words. But when it comes to bottom line, society, I don't belong to. There's no one else out there like me. There's only a small percentage of the world that understands what I see. That's only 1%. Only 1%. Kind of like the the one thing I like seeing. I, um, I saw someone writing, if Bernie Sanders was president, none of this shit would be going on in the world. Oh, doesn't people understand Bernie Sa Sanders is part of the, the whole group, the Illuminati? You know, these people are sick, sick motherfuckers. They're sick. They're absolutely sick. And they believe that you don't have the right to live they believe that you have no rights at all. That's why they do shit like this. Because they believe that you don't, you're nothing. You're nothing. And it's not the 1% that owns the world's wealth. I want people to understand this. They're not even on the graph. There's only 300 people that own the world's wealth. You know, like 98% of it. That's a huge percentage. And people think it's the 1%. We got to tax the 1%. They think Donald Trump's the 1%. He's not even part of the group. Why do you think there's so much hate against that man? The news media, everything. He's just trying to keep the lights on. I'm not 100% with him. But I tell you what. i never seen so many jobs be higher in, in my lifetime. i never seen that comedy turn around so quick. When he, uh, what a new president. Before, you know, with Bill Clinton and George Bush, they're all part of the Illuminati. They're all part of that fucking sick, sick group. They're a bunch of perverts. They touch little kids. Joe Biden, the whole nine. They're all sick motherfuckers. You just, you just don't understand because TV, television programming, TV programming. You know, made you think the way you do. They they put so much false reality out there that you think you know what's going on. But bottom line, you're told to think what's going on. You never use that, that, that soul part, that third eye. You never use that judgment being like, you know what? I don't think this is right. Like, when I look up at the sky and I watch these airplanes spray, I, I pay attention. I've been studying them. I, I really would do a documentary, cause, but people are too numb in the head. There's thousands and thousands of people out there already making documentaries on this. And you know, I can see it in the air. I can see the white mist all across the air when I get up high. You know, that drives me to be who I am to this day. It pushes me to the next level, knowing that life is so short and life is so fucked up that you'll never understand what's going on. You'll never understand what's going on in my head or what's understanding what's going on out there. I see the Illuminati, the, the people, they call these people the, the gifted ones, you know, the ones that they know a lot more than you think. Like the pyramids, the whole nine, they're telling you they, they're not telling you shit. They're, they're holding information back and putting out false, you know, information to keep people stupid, keep people fighting. Like racism was an engineer word to divide us. But, you know, just out hiking. Sensitive subject. You can't really understand what's going on until you question everything, question society, question the way life should be. You'll never understand why they spray us down. They believe you have no rights. They believe that you are nothing. Until you wake up and realize that you are someone, this world will never get better. We have the power, not them. I'll catch you guys later. This is Jimmy Jam. I hope you enjoy living life.